Welcome to IET Labs demo of the 1865 Plus in conjunction with the 1865-11 volume surface resistivity cell. This is intended to show you a quick example of how you would measure volume resistivity using the cell. Um, once you've received the two units, please unpack the 1865 Plus, plug it in, turn it on, you should see the basic flash screen. Um, in terms of connecting the 1865-11 um, to the 1865 Plus, um, it comes with these connectors here, the black connector here goes to the positive, the red with the pigtail goes to the negative, and the pigtail goes to guard. So that in terms of how they're basically connected together. Once you've done that on the 1865+, plus, you can press the menu key. Select the voltage that you'd like to test at, in this particular case, 500. Go down to measurement time. Typically, measurement time is set for 60 seconds, but, it, it, but for this demo, we're going to set it to only 10 seconds, so it's relatively quick. And we should also make sure that the number to average is set to something like 50. This just sort of averages everything out. Um, we can also use the select to go over to utilities. When we go to utilities, we can do what we call a zero, which basically zeroes out any leakage that might be associated with the cables or the 1865-11 volume resistivity cell. Um, to prepare for the zero, what we want to do is open the 1865-11 up. Once you've opened it up, you'll notice that it's shipped with a piece of cardboard. This is just to protect the electrode. We set that aside. You'll also notice that there are basically cell constants located right to the right side of the electrode. These show you the cell constants, which you have to multiply the resistance that's measured on the 1865 plus. So basically, in the case of measuring volume resistivity, the measurement on the 1865 plus is what we call RV. We'd multiply that by 19.6 and divide it by the average thickness of the sample. This would give us the volume resistivity. If for some reason we were measuring surface resistivity, then we'd basically just take the reading from the 1865 plus. That would be RS. We'd multiply it by 18.8, and that would come out to be the surface resistivity. Um, in preparation for zero, what we'd like to do is make sure there is nothing touching the electrodes. If you look at the side of the volume surface resistivity cell, you can see there's a selection, RV, rest, RS. Turn it over to RV because we're going to be measuring volume resistivity. Once we've got it set to RV, we keep the cell open. We go back over to the 1865 plus. At this point, we can press enter to do a zero. It says remove all components from the test fixture, which we've done. We make sure the cell is open. We hit start. It says zero cal in progress. This takes about two and a half minutes to complete. Once the zero completes, it will come up with a complete screen. At this point, we will press the menu button. This will bring us back to our standard menu. We can go back over to setup just so we can see the setup. At this point, we would want to place the sample into the cell. Options for placing the sample into the cell. If we have, ideally, a round circular sample, roughly appropriate to cover just the electrode. At no time do we want it to cover over or over on so that we're touching the beige paint. It has to just basically cover just the electrode surface. We actually use a test sample, okay, which is basically just a PC board in combination with a small resistor. The resistor in this upper corner um, is just a surface amount resistor. Should give us roughly seven and a half gig for volume resistivity. Once it's set, we would then close the cell, come back over to the 1865 plus, press the start button. At that point, it will begin performing a measurement. We can see right now it measures 7.5 gig, which is exactly what we're expecting. Um, in approximately 20 seconds, the unit will stop Forming its measurement, um, and at that point we could basically remove the sample from the cell.
we would then take that 7.5 gig, multiply it by 19.6, and divide it by the thickness of the sample. This concludes the basic demo of the 1865 Plus in combination with the 1865-11. Please visit our website as we also have application notes which show the basic connection, basic measurement as well, but we hope you find this video helpful. Thank you very much.